Ross developers, welcome to the Ross in 5 minute video series by the Construct, your channel for everything Ross. I'm Bio the Adirin Ola and in this video we'll be answering the question, what is a Ross publisher? And for this we'll be using the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online Ross courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You'll find a link to this academy in the video description. So now let's get started with our work. To learn about what the publisher is. We have two programs here and then we go ahead straight away and run them to demonstrate. Okay, so we are getting some output. So we go ahead and run the second program. Okay, so we can see here that the message being sent by the first program yeah, is being received by the second program. Now we want to examine some information about the first program. Let's check what the name is. The name is SOS2. So let's go deep for some information about it. Um, so SOS2. So let's see. Interesting, you have here yeah, publications, and you can see help message as one of the topics where we have the publications. So, this node is making some publications again. Let's see some information about this topic called help message. Again, we have one that is publishers as well as two. What is all this telling us? So it's telling us that this node is a publisher because uh, it has some publications to some topics and then the information on the topics also identify it as a publisher. So then what is a ROS publisher? Let's see. So it's a ROS node like we have seen SOS2 is a ROS node. It produces data like we have seen. Data keeps streaming here. And then it makes this data available over channel called topics. In this case, the topic is app message. And then lastly, we have an extra here. All nodes are publisher of some sort by default. Also, looking at the program for this node, we can see that we are actually publishing to this topic. So we can understand that we have that topic listed as one of the publications. But I don't understand this ROS out. We never mentioned this ROS out at all in the, how did that happen. So in ROS, automatically when you initialize a ROS node like we did here, it is made to publish data to the ROS out node automatically. And the ROS out node handles all logs. So we can see here that we have a rospy.log1. And then this message here goes directly to ROS out. Like we can see here if we do ROS out, okay, we have. We have this as one of the publishers confirmed. And if you do a raw topic, echo, raw out. Here we see the output of that program appearing here. And that was all. So did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please leave us your thoughts in the comments area. Peace out. Odabo.